Blot, it's time for We Worship. Hey boys and girls, I'm glad you're here for We Worship this week. Guess what? Mr. Page and Miss Carol are back for one of our favorite episodes from the past, so I know you'll enjoy it. But have no fear, Treehouse Worship will be right back with you the next week and the week after. Miss Lisa will be with you, and I will be with you again with Ollie. You remember Ollie, you never know what he's going to say. So join us for Treehouse Worship in a couple of weeks, but enjoy Mr. Page and Miss Carol's We Worship this week. Good morning, boys and girls. We're so glad you're back today. Thanks for coming back for We Worship. You know, this is where we tell the greatest stories ever told. And boy, do we have a great one today. Yay! It's very exciting. We've been talking about how God cares for us. And there's all kinds of stories in the Bible that we've talked about, about how he protected people, about how he provided things that they needed. God's just always looking for ways to take care of us. He is. And this story, oh, Miss Carol, it's a crazy one. Oh, I can't wait. It, it looks like, again, it's a story with a lot of water in it. You know, it is, Miss Carol. I think that's right. We have talked about a lot of different stories about how God takes care of us that involve water. That's kind of cool. It is cool. I remember the first story we talked about about water. You guys may remember it. It was about a little baby and how- Oh, I remember. Oh man, there was a mean king that was trying to take away all the baby boys. And so God wanted to help protect this little baby. And so he had the family, the mother and the little baby's sister hide the baby. Do you remember where they hid him? I do, in the water. Oh man, that was crazy. This little baby floating there in the water and a princess went into the water and found him. Do you remember what happened next, Miss Carol? She kept him safe and she let Moses' mother and sister help take care of him. Wow, and then Moses got to grow up in the palace. Oh, yes. That was a great story. That was great. You know, I like this story, Mr. Page. This is the story where Noah built the ark because God told Noah to build an ark and be ready for a big rainstorm. Wow, that's right. Not just rain, but tons of water oh, everywhere. Ev everywhere. Oh, everywhere. Oh, man. And you know what? God wanted to keep Noah and his family safe. And the animals. And all of the animals. Yes. Because there was going to be way too much water for anybody to handle. And so what did he do, Miss Carol? Well, he built the ark and he brought two of every kind of animal onto the ark. And during all all of that time that the ark was floating, Noah and his family took care of the animals just like God took care of Noah. Wow, there was tons of rain and water everywhere, but inside the ark, they were all safe. And cozy. That was another great story about God taking care of somebody, and a lot of water was in the story. And there was one more story about God taking care of people, and I remember, it was the sailors out on the storm. Oh, yes, and they were so afraid. They were super scared. Well, all of them except for one person on the boat. And that was Jesus, wasn't it? That's right. They were running around so scared, not knowing what was going to happen to them. But Jesus was just sleeping on the back of the boat, knowing that God would take care of them. And what did Jesus do, Miss Carol? Jesus told the storm and the water, be calm. And, and it was. Yes, yes, and, and they were all safe. Well, this story today is another story about a big storm, a lot of water out in the ocean, and a guy who was trying to run away from God. He got in a boat and thought that he could go out on the water and get away from God. Can't wait to hear oh, this one, but... It's pretty crazy, Miss Carol. But Mr. Page, it's time to sing praises to God. This is the fun part of our whole day. Oh, where I love we this. get to show God how much we care about Him. Are you guys ready to sing? I'm ready. All right, here we go. 
Okay, boys and girls, how about we start singing Jesus Loves Me. Are you ready? Jesus loves me. We're going to change up the order because I think it's time to wiggle our fingers. Are you guys ready for the finger song? Okay, we're going to start off first singing normal speed, just the regular finger song. Are you ready? Here we go. One little, two little, three little fingers, four little, five little, six little fingers, seven little, eight little, nine little fingers, ten little fingers God gave us. Okay, do you remember who likes it super fast? Some of you probably do, and we know Mr. Page does. Are you ready? Here we go. One little, two little, three little fingers, four little, five little, six little fingers, seven little, eight little, nine little fingers, ten little fingers God gave us. Wow, that's hard to do, keeping your fingers going that fast. But what I think is really hard is super slow, because I keep wanting to go faster, and you can't if you're going super slow. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. One little Two little, three little fingers, four little, five little, six little fingers, seven little, eight little, nine little fingers, ten little fingers God gave us. That was so great. You guys did really good at going slow. Okay, how about let's sing about how great and mighty our God is. Are you ready? Here we go. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are His, the rivers are His, the stars are His handiwork too. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. Oh, that was wonderful. Our God is great, isn't He? He's the greatest, mightiest thing ever. Okay, how about we sing God Made Me? Do you remember that one and we sing about it because we read it in our Bible book? Okay, here we go. God made me, God made me, in my Bible book it says that God made me. Now God loves me. God loves me, God loves me, in my Bible book it says that God loves me. Now helps me. God helps me. because the Bible teaches us that God is happy when we sing praises to him. Okay, how about we sing the Bible verse song? I'm thinking of, let's see, I'm thinking of a five-word Bible verse about where Jesus was born. Do you remember this verse from the Bible? Let's see. Jesus was born in Bethlehem. Okay, are you ready? I open my Bible book and read, Jesus was born in Bethlehem. Jesus was born in Bethlehem. Jesus was born in Bethlehem. That's what God's book tells us. Jesus was born in Bethlehem. Okay, now I'm thinking of a three-word Bible verse, 
And this one is about being nice to others. Do you remember what this one is? Can you think of it? It's be ye kind. Are you ready? I open my Bible book and read. Be ye kind. Be ye kind. Be ye kind. That's what God's book tells us. Be ye kind. Okay, let's see. There's another three-word Bible verse. This is tricky, isn't it? This one is about loving other people. Do you remember this one? Three words. It's love one another. Because the Bible teaches us that we're supposed to love everyone. Are you ready? I open my Bible book and read. Love one another. Love one another. Love one another. That's what God's book tells us. Love one another. I got kind of crazy there. Okay, that was a great song. Let me see everybody's fists. We're going to finish it up with open, shut them. Are you ready? Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them them lay them in your lap and now we get to hear today's story i can't wait mr page we're ready wow fantastic singing again boys and girls god loves it when we sing praises to him it shows god how much we care about him and we've already talked about all those stories where he shows us how much he cares about us you know those stories we just talked about, all of them involving water where God was taking care of somebody else? Well, I want to talk about another story. Remember this story from last week about little sheepy? Little sheepy was somebody who was doing something that he shouldn't be doing. He decided he wanted to run away from the good shepherd. At first it seemed like it was a good idea, but eventually it got dark and little sheepy got really scared because there were a bunch of other animals out there. Little sheepy ran and ran, but the good shepherd was always looking to take care of little sheepy. Finally, right at the last minute, the good shepherd found little sheepy. Little sheepy was so excited to see him, and the good shepherd took him back to all of his friends where he was safe. That was a great story. Today's story is about this guy named Jonah. Oh man, this guy was a preacher and God told Jonah, I want you to go to this other city and tell them how much I care about them. Hmm. Jonah did not like the people at the other city, so he did not want to tell them about God. So he told God, no, I'm not going to go there. Wow, can you imagine telling God no? And so then Jonah thought, you know what? I need to run away and hide from God. Where could you hide from God? Well, Jonah decided if I get on a boat and I go really far out in the water, God will never find me there. But we know that God's everywhere. So after being out on the water for just a little bit, well, remember that story we told about the guys in the boat where all of a sudden the storm came up and they got scared? Well, a huge storm came up on the boat that Jonah was on. And it was tossing the boat back and forth and everybody was super scared. They just knew the boat was going to sink. But Jonah knew that the real problem was he was disobeying God and trying to run away. So Jonah told everybody, if you just throw me overboard, everything will be okay. And they thought, but we can't throw you into the water. You'll drown. And Jonah said, everybody will drown if you don't throw me in. Sure enough, they picked him up and they threw him overboard. But God was there taking care of Jonah. You're not going to believe what happened in this story. It all involves God watching out for Jonah, a storm, a boat, a lot of water, and a huge fish. Oh, man. Mr. Page! Oh, I boys and girls. I want to see this. What is it? A fish? Well, it's a whale. Well, 
It is. It looks huge. Well, you know, in our story, huge. we talked about a huge fish. It might have been a whale, but it was a big fish. But you know what, Miss Carol? This fish doesn't look really big. Oh, but Mr. Page, when you hold up the fish next to the boat, that looks like a pretty big fish. Wow. I can see. So if the boat was really that size and this is how big the <laughs> fish is, that Ooh, is a big fish. That's very big. Oh, man. That almost looks like that fish could take on the whole boat. Oh, yes, I think so. But Boy. I want to hear more about the story. Oh, man, you're going to love this story. Remember, we've got a boat, a fish, a storm, a guy that was doing something uh -oh. he shouldn't do, but God that was ready to take care of all of them. Watch this. God chose Jonah to be a helper. Jonah's job was to teach people about God. One day, God told Jonah, Go to the big city of Nineveh. Tell those people to stop doing bad stuff. No way, said Jonah. Those people are really mean. I'm going to run away so that I won't have to help. Jonah searched and searched for a place to hide. Finally, he found some fishermen loading a boat. Jonah joined them on the boat, and they set off to sea. But suddenly, God sent a big storm to stop Jonah. The sailors on the boat were scared that the boat would sink. They ran and ran. They screamed and screamed. But not Jonah. He was sound asleep. The sailor yelled to the sleepy Jonah, Wake up! We're going to drown! Jonah knew it was his fault. He knew he should have obeyed God. Jonah told them, God sent this storm. Throw me into the water and the storm will go away. Blop, blop, blop. Jonah sank down into the water. But God loved Jonah very much, and he didn't want Jonah to get hurt, so he sent a good fish to take care of him. At first, Jonah was scared, but then... Jonah realized he was safe inside the big fish. While Jonah was inside the big fish, he prayed to God, Please, please forgive me. After three days and nights, God told the fish to spit Jonah out onto the land. So out went Jonah. On and on and on Jonah rolled out of the fish. Jonah realized it was time to be a helper. It was time to tell the people of Nineveh about God. And so he did. Mr. Page, that was so exciting. I love being reminded about how God always takes care of us. And no matter what we do, God will love us. He does, Miss Carol. You know, we've heard some really, really great stories about God taking care of a little baby and God taking care of a bunch of animals and a whole family and then God taking care of Jesus' helpers. And now this story of God even taking care of somebody who did not obey him. And he isn't a big fish. A big I fish. I love that. Wow, I can't imagine what that was like. But you know, God was always there with Jonah and God was always going to take care of him even when Jonah wasn't doing the right thing. But I'm glad he ended up doing the Me right too. thing in the end. Me too. Well, can we pray together? Let's do that, Miss okay, Carol. Okay, everybody, fold your hands and bow your heads. Dear God, thank you for the Bible. Thank you that it teaches us about Jonah. Thank you that you love us. Amen. Boys and girls, thanks for joining us again for We Worship. You know, we tell you that we tell the greatest stories ever told. And you've got to come back next week. I'm not going to tell you what it is, Miss Carol, 
but it is one of my favorite all-time stories. You guys have got to see this. Oh, I can't wait. I know. All right, guys, we will see you next week.